But nowadays, it seems like every organized group wants their own personalized shirts. They're kind of cool. So this morning, Ansley Watson is in to tell us more about how that personalization gets done. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. You know, we see all these personalized logos on polos and sportswear. Even monograms have become a really big thing lately. But how do they get on there? I'm standing in warehouse embroidery where we'll discuss how those designs get on those garments. Um, and we'll also talk about how we, you can show off all those designs that are unique to you later in the hour. We'll show you how it's all done. I'm really excited about it. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Vicki, right. we should get our own personalized morning news team shirts to wear. Whoa, that seed is planted. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Ansley. Of course, I think if that happens, Ansley should be the one to handcraft it for us. Yeah, right. that's, that's something yeah. maybe like our faces, like Mount Rushmore. <laughs> and there's four of us. So. That would work. Yeah. We perfect. need to work on this. Yes. We need to work on this. Embroidery <laughs> has been around for centuries, and it's come a long way. Some are wondering, how do they nowadays put those high-tech designs onto something that's wearable? This morning, Ansley Watson is at the embroidery warehouse to let us know how it's done. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. With all the right tools and equipment, people can bring in their garments and get their product finished in no time at all at the embroidery warehouse. I'm joined this morning with Becky Zimmerman. Becky, so thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for coming. So this machine over here is incredible. I see it's embroidering a sweatshirt. How do these machines work? The machines, it's a Tajima machine. It's probably considered uh, one of the most respected machines in the industry. And uh, it has 15 spools of thread that you can work at uh, at any time. And right now we're embroidering a sweatshirt for Ainsley. And we're with Marquette, Michigan on it. And it's a tackle tool design. We have already found the center point, uh, lined it, did a soap line, uh, lined it up and it is now stitching down the letters of Marquette. Now, how would you describe embroidery? I know it's a kind of a stitching, but it's, it's a different kind of a stitching. What embroidery typically does is it, it uh, does a base stitch, an outline stitch, and then it does a base stitch, and then maybe it goes in another angle and does another layer of stitches. So you might have three or four layers of stitches on your garment. I know that monogramming has become a really big thing lately. Is that something that you guys do very often here? We do a fair amount of embroidery, especially at Christmas time. A lot of Christmas gifts and wedding gifts with embroidery, uh, with monograms. And then what other groups come here to get their stuff done? We have uh, church youth groups, we have swim teams, we have Oh, who else? <laughs> I know you yeah, NMU come NMU, here a lot. NMU and a uh, little bit of the high schools, and we've got business, mostly businesses. Probably 90% of our business is businesses. So not only do you do embroidery, but you also do this awesome bedazzling like thing over yes. here. How does this work? Well, we, uh, we can either do one of our designs or you could create your own custom design and uh, we will put it on a stencil. We cut out a stencil for it and uh, then we kind of layer the beads on and uh, then it's heat pressed at 330 degrees and it stays on your garment. I have a garment that's been washed numerous times and it... Uh, still going strong nothing's ever come off yeah we're actually going to finish this garment and you'll see it in the next segment and we're also going to show the finished product in the next segment as well so i'm really excited to show that as well yes. stay tuned stay with us reporting live marquette ansley watson tv6 news okay thank you very much ansley that's really fascinating i when i was a kid my mom sat down and taught us how you put it in the hoop and you do it by hand yeah mm -hmm. world's different now yeah, it looks <laughs> it's a little slightly different than yeah, those days a little more high tech and a little bit way better craftsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ever want to get those matching shirts for your fun family reunion, it's only a stitch away. TV6's Ansley Watson joins us at the Embroidery Warehouse to tell us how it's done. And Ansley, I don't know if you want a picture of my face, how you're going to put it on a t-shirt or whatever, but uh, just let me know, all right? <laughs> yeah, we'll have to take your picture, bring it in, and then we'll see what we can do. It <laughs> might get messed up accidentally, I don't know. <laughs>
but there's no boundaries when it comes to putting stuff on your garments here. They, thousands of stitches goes into one place to create a beautiful design. As you can see, I'm modeling the sweatshirt that we were making earlier that we embroidered. It's my first Marquette sweatshirt, so thank you for that. I'm very thankful. And then also we uh, bedazzled a little UP shirt here. It turned out really well, I think. It's really cute. I also have Alexa here and she's modeling a great NMU bedazzled shirt. Looks great on her. Turn around. Oh. <laughs> and there's a little claw print. Isn't that cute? Awesome. So we're also going to be talking about not only embroidery, but they do something called direct garment here. And basically it's just that. They place a shirt in a machine and it pulls right out of a, a really great graphic. So over here we've got some great t-shirts and sweatshirts. Um, we have this mosquito. With, on the shape of the UP, I think it's hilarious. We've got a bear, we've got some waterfalls. There's no limits to what they can make over here. Becky, describe to me what this machine does exactly. Uh, this machine um, prints directly onto the garment with water-based ink, and, and then once it's heat sealed, the, the design is embedded into the fibers of the shirt, and um, there is no feel to it. It will wear right along with your shirt. If uh, you drop a spot of bleach on it, it will bleach it out just like it would your shirt. So what other things do you guys make here? Not only t-shirts and sweatshirts, but what else can you embroider? We have embroidered sandals. We've done watch bands. We have done, um, what was the other thing? Um, uh, the dog collars. The dog collars. Yeah. The dog bags, handles on bags, just you name it. So really you know? any shape and size of thing, you can do it, right? Pretty much, pretty much we can do it. And then here the shirt's starting to come out. Do people bring design. in their own garments? Do you order stuff? How does that work? It works both ways. Uh, we can order the garments. We have several catalogs and vendors that we use on a regular basis. Or if you've got your own garment, you can bring it in and have it done. And so here is Look uh, at that. your deer. <laughs> so hopefully the deer hunters will see a deer like that this fall. Let's hope. That'd be a great find. And if you have, if the bear hunters starting tomorrow are successful and you've got a really great picture of you with your bear, bring it in. We'll throw it inside the UP and print you out a shirt. Great. And then you guys are at a new location here, correct? We are. We are now uh, right out on 41, right next to the villa. We used to be in South Barquette and we just moved out here. It's a much uh, more convenient location, easy on, easy off. And uh, so we're glad to be here. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning, Becky, and thank you for modeling your shirt, Alexa. It's been great. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson will be back with more of your TV6 morning news after the break.